Okay, good morning traders. Today is November 7th, 2023. My morning spy pivot is 435.16. Above it, I'm a bull. Below it, I'm a bear. All four indices and the FNGU remain in daily downtrends with lower highs and lower lows on their daily charts. Okay, they're still in daily downtrends. U.S. dollar returns to consolidate in the area between... 105.50 and 107.30. Silver, well, there's a misprint, continues to consolidate over 2050. Gold remains consolidating over 182. USO testing the lower range of the bullish consolidation uh, near, excuse me, 74. UNG remains in that sloppy uptrend. All four indices appear to have entered the pause pullback stage after an igniting bullish move. It's just my observation, just my opinion. We'll see what happens. Let's take a look at some charts. All right, so here's the SPY on a daily chart. Still got a daily downtrend, traders. Got lower highs and lower lows. Lower highs and lower lows. Still haven't made a lower high. Still haven't made a higher high. Still haven't made a higher low. Still haven't made a higher high. So still still in a daily downtrend. Hourly, yeah, we got hourly uptrends. But uh, daily, still in a downtrend. All right, so there's SPY. Yesterday's candle, kind of little topping tail. Can't, not a topping tail, but kind of a pause candle. Uh, up over the top on bullish below the bottom. Uh, I think it pulls back to this 431.37 area. We'll see where it wants to go. Here's the lower side of the next VWAP. I, I can envision a pullback to 430.77, 431.37. We'll see what it does today. And there's no, there's no, there's no rule that says it has to pull back. It could just bull flag from here on out. We'll see what happens. There's the SPY. <clears throat> Let's take a look at QQQ. QQQ, same same thing happening on QQQ. Uh, got a little pause candle here, up over it, bullish, below it, bearish. Um, <clears throat> right now we're in a daily downtrend, as you can see, Lower highs, lower lows, lower high, lower low. All right, right back at the trend line here or close to it. Maybe it doesn't belong there. Maybe it swings out right there. We'll see what happens, what it wants to do. So it's got a little bit more space to move up if it wants to, uh, but still underneath this da daily downtrend. Let's take a look at FNGU. FNGU, lower highs and lower lows, lower highs and lower lows on the daily chart, still in a daily downtrend. Here's the downtrend line. You can see right here, today's candle, a little pause candle. Now we had a pause candle on Thursday, and then Friday got a rip. Uh, now we got a pause candle on Monday, so we'll see if we get another rip. And it looks like they might. They're already gapping up some. So there's FNGU. So, let's take a look at that. Again, daily downtrend. No higher lows, no higher highs yet. So, still in a downtrend. That's FNGU. Let's take a look at IWM. It's the Russell 2000. Lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, and more lower lows. So, uh, you can see we got an hourly pullback or a daily pullback. You can call it whatever you want. It's an hourly uptrend, daily pullback. But still in a downtrend with lower highs and lower lows. Still no higher low or higher high. So still in a downtrend, IWM. All right. Yesterday's candle was bearish engulfing. So you can see price moving back towards the midpoint of the move. Right here. Yep. You can see price moving back towards challenging the upper third. So there's IWM. Let's take a look at Diamond Dow. 
Diamond Dow, lower highs, lower lows, still lower highs and lower lows. All right, so equal high doesn't really count. You got to really break this thing. <clears throat> it's going to get all the way up here to minor resistance right up here, 434, excuse me, 344.32. So diamond still in a downtrend, no higher low, no higher high yet. Yesterday's candle, another doji pause candle. We'll see if they're going to rip over that or if they're just going to keep pausing here and continue to go up later. So there's diamond Dow still in a downtrend, although a magnificent daily rip right there uh, in all four indices plus the FNGU. Let's take a look at SMH. All right, so here's SMH. SMH still in a downtrend with lower highs and lower lows. Yesterday's candle, another uh, bottoming tail kind of T cross up here. So uh, again, unless you see follow through, uh, probably just going to consolidate up here. We'll see what it wants to do. If it can hold this area, the longer it holds this area, the more the more um, confident I am about a a following uh, a, a move to the upside in the near future if it can hold this area right now um, you know it's just right here we'll see they came up here very fast I'm not sure if they're going to bounce back down or they're going to consolidate we'll see what they want to do so there's SMH still in a downtrend okay IYT is like transports again still in a downtrend lower lower low, lower highs and lower lows and you can see yesterday's candle kind of looking about the same mm -hmm. as all the other four candles you know in the indices you know a little cross doji candle so here we are five days up and now they're having a pause maybe they continue we'll see what happens but there's iyt on the pullback or excuse me on the downtrend daily downtrend lower highs and lower lows and we got a, uh, I know they turned the trendicator green here, but uh, we still have not broken this downtrend line. And, you know, we still got, we still got the lower, lower lows and lower highs on the chart. They still have not made the higher low or the uh, higher high yet. So even though it's green on the trendicator, it's still a, still a downtrend. It's a nice hourly uptrend. I will admit that there is the hourly pullback for a higher low, and then there they produce the higher high. <clears throat> so there's IYT. We did SMH. Last one left, XLF. XLF on the daily chart. Uh, again, we've got lower highs and lower lows. Still in a downtrend. All right. So you see there's nice hourly uptrend right there. There's your pullback. Higher low, higher high, nice rip on the XLF. Back to the daily, you got almost a bearish engulfing here, kind of indicating that we could be seeing a pause, look for a bull flag to form, or a pullback to the midpoint. That's what I'm looking for on XLF, a pullback to the midpoint or a bull flag to form. We'll see what happens. There's XLF still in a daily downtrend. Oh. Okay, no higher lows, no higher highs, nothing yet. All right, so let's take a look at our indicators. So here's our indicators from yesterday. You can see the price action. We fell out of the overbought zone into the chop zone and challenged this uptrend line right here. And we had lower highs right there, and they produced lower lows. So we'll see what happens today if we're going to get higher lows and they're going to produce higher highs and bring us back into the buy zone. But there we are with T2122. T2123, uh, just sticking with the uh, the price action and the VWAP, you can see price and the trend indicator did not separate at all. You can see uh, they're probably uh, conjoined here and uh, things just not breaking away one bit, just... Price action and trend indicator just actually just trading back and forth. So at the beginning of the day, we had a little bit of buying, and then you can see a little bit of dip, and then some more buying at the end. So 
We'll see if this can uh, break out again to make new highs. T2123, that, that represents the overall market, about the six or 7,000 in the New York Stock Exchange. T2123, you can see we got some space. It's a three bar chart. Get some space over the trend indicator, but you can see the trend indicator is closing in on the price uh, pretty rapidly here. So they either need to make a move to the upside uh, to uh, open up some more space or uh, trend indicator is just going to chase them down. FNGU. <clears throat> FNGU gapping up this morning. Wow, nice gap up. Uh, that'll provide some lift in the SPY. So... Um, you can see here, FNGU uh, opened up high and then faded back uh, underneath VWAP, and now it's rising back up to VWAP and over it. So FNGU bullish. But you can see right here on the FNGU for yesterday's price action, it was a gap up, and then they just faded it, made a higher low, and now you can see price action is giving us that possible higher high on FNGU. All right, let's go back to the charts and let's look at USO. All right, so here's USO, higher low, higher high, still consolidating over that 74 level. See right there, right here, right at 74. And we've got a lower high here, no lower low yet, just simply consolidating right over the 74 level right now we're kind of hanging out here a little bit too long if they hang out here much longer the next move might be down and of course we are gapping down in the morning so not a good sign for USO let's look at look take a look at UNG and UNG is gapping back down to challenge the low back here so UNG in a sloppy uptrend look like uh, that uptrend is getting challenged pretty seriously right now here is the trend line for UNG. Take this low and slide this up through here. You can see we're gapping down below the trend line right here at 650. So there's the UNG. It had a sloppy uptrend and it looks like uh, that's about to end. So here was the higher low and the higher high. And then we produced another higher low. Didn't produce the higher high, but we did get a, another second higher higher low. And then yesterday we broke that, and now we're coming tumbling back here. So there's UNG breaking the uptrend, possibly if they set the um, set another uh, lower high, it's not going to be good for UNG. So there's that. Let's take a look at precious metals, silver and gold. All right, so here is uh, silver. You can see they're in a consolidation channel right there. And then they got knocked out, and then they climbed themselves. They climbed, climbed right back in there. So they're still consolidating over 2050. And you can see they are in a downtrend with lower highs and lower lows at that point. They still have not produced um, higher highs yet, but they have produced a higher low right here. So we'll see if that's going to get challenged today or if they can start a uh, bullish flag consolidation and a move to the upside. So there's silver. Let's take a look at gold. Gold fell out of the consolidation wedge, climbed back through, and broke the downtrend right there. So I'm looking for gold to consolidate over this level. It's pulling back today. This is exactly what I wanted. All right, it's a nice pullback like to see it get back to this downtrend line. I don't think I'll get that, but somewhere in the midpoint would be very attractive for me. So where would it be nice? Well, right about 178. Actually, this minor support right there, right there, one, anywhere between 178 and 180 would look like a good opportunity for me. So there's gold making a higher high up here. This was the last high, made a higher high. So gold in an uptrend, just got to produce that higher low and not come tumbling back down. But there's uh, there's gold, like to see this, it's consolidating right now 
over 182 it looks like it's uh, gapping down to 181 50 right now so there's gold and that's that's about it for this morning traders if you got some questions post them up I'd like to help you with your trading um, right now I'm gonna render the video if you have questions like I said post them up if you're out there in YouTube land or rumble land please hit the like button or the thumbs up consider subscribing write a nice comment if you don't understand something please ask um, or leave a nice comment down below that would be nice also until then all right I'm going to render the video and I'll see all you in YouTube land at about I'll say four o'clock I have open house on Thursday the 9th starts at 8 a.m. and everyone's invited until then I'll see you at four